we've had a significant number of overdoses, and I would say by significant, I mean far more than we would normally see. Um, and it's generally from edible products, and we are asking people and telling people uh, to eat responsibly, which is to look at the packaging and understand it, what a serving size is. Um, you know, frequently you'll, you'll buy a brownie at an establishment and that's 10 servings or six servings, and most folks don't, you know, cut a brownie into 10 pieces. So we're seeing folks who are buying an edible product and eating the whole thing and not giving themselves time to see what the effects are. Um, and in a lot of cases are folks who haven't used or haven't used in a long time, so they don't understand how it's going to impact them. One of the more recent things that we did was we were hearing from our hotels that the housekeepers were finding food products and edibles that were left over from visitors. And we had several accidental uh, poisonings would be the best way of putting it. But they had accidentally consumed some of it and didn't realize that it was a marijuana product and gotten pretty sick from it. And so we, we recently did a Spanish handout for the lodging association and then uh, we actually went on the radio station out here to talk to people and let them know that that was going on and kind of the better ways to identify edibles and products like that. So we're asking people to really look at the serving size and the labels, make sure they understand what they're consuming and to take some time, you know, eat a serving size and then wait an hour before eating more because it does take, it's not the same as smoking where it comes into your system more quickly. That takes a while for your body to digest that product and get the THC into your system. So it's going to take some time to actually feel the effect. So we're, we're working with the establishments and our marijuana compliance officer is working on the state level to try to get some changes in that serving size piece. Um, our establishment owners have been really on the ball and helpful with looking at new ways and different ways to warn people about the possible effects of the product after the fact.